Ben Carson to back down after backlash over his weekend comment that he would not support a Muslim president. This is fellow candidates go on the attack as well. Kristen Fisher is in Washington to bring us up to speed. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. So several Muslim groups are now calling on Ben Carson to drop out of the race after what he said yesterday on one of the Sunday shows. You know, he was asked if he would be okay with uh, a Muslim in the White House. Listen to how he responded. Advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation? I absolutely would not agree with that. Well, almost immediately after, one of his opponents, Senator Lindsey Graham, was on Fox insisting Carson apologize. America is an idea not owned by a particular religion, race, or anything else. Out of many comes one. So I think Dr. Carson needs to apologize. This is an example to me that Mr. Carson uh, may be a good doctor, but he is not ready to lead a great nation. Well, in response, Carson's communications director said, quote, I'm not sure that Senator Graham even listened to what Dr. Carson said. What he said was he believed Islam was inconsistent with the American Constitution. He also said that he would not support a Muslim as a leader of our country, but he did not say that a Muslim should not be allowed to run for president. Carson just doesn't want a Muslim to actually become president. So Ben Carson not backing down in any way, despite calls from some of his opponents to apologize and calls from Muslim groups to drop out altogether. Steve Bryan and Elizabeth, back to you. All right, Kristen, thank you very much. It does sound like his campaign is going to have a clarification statement regarding what he said over the weekend later today. That's right. right. I mean, but just, just real quick, they were debating whether a Muslim should be a president back in the creation of our country. There's a whole book written on it. Back you had Jefferson and Madison debating other great American founders about should a Jewish person be president, should a Muslim person be president. You can have that discussion and not be labeled racist or a Zionist or anything else. This is an open dialogue. Why is everyone calling on everyone to apologize? It's an ultimate gotcha moment. You have 16 people in the race and everyone just waiting on eggshells. But who's real? Yeah. Who's the real person? Can he just, you uh, can he just give an honest answer? And now there's going to be a fourth clarification. That's how he feels. He would not vote for a Muslim. It doesn't mean they should not run. It doesn't mean the rest of America can't vote for a Muslim. Here's the great news. Americans are paying attention right now, right? Yeah, I you think know, so. But people say...